for you to want to move to America and sit down there and be a leech to a single mother mm. who is a widow mm. of two kids mm. just shows low class. I am disgusted mm. with raisin. Yes. But we're going to get into all of it. Yes. It's <laughs> Mary. I'll call you raisin. <laughs> he has dried up and broke like a raisin. <laughs> Hello. Facts. Okay. <laughs> But it's Mary. And, um, uh, we invite y'all to like, subscribe, and comment down below, you guys, because today we're going to talk about 90 Day Fiance. Yes. Before yes. the 90 Days episodes 10 and 11, and yes. we might sprinkle some other ones in there because yes. we've been lonely. <laughs> but let's go ahead and talk about Raisin. The brass fitted. Raisin <laughs> and Amanda. And Amanda. <laughs> Okay, Raisin so. has decided that he wants to move to America as yes. soon as possible. He already went and got his what, visa, his, his, what tourist visa. Yeah, and this man during dinner had the nerve to let her know he was giving me Pedro and Chantel, Chantel vibes. vibes from Family Chantel, and he is there talking about how uh, it has always been my dream since I was a little boy to <laughs> to America. <laughs> what a little boy? What? It's been your dream. <laughs> Girl, you better run. And she's like, but that's a red flag. No, no, that's not. It's not a red flag. It is a red flag. Well, at least you know now, girl. It's a red flag. And then he's talking about how she didn't want to support my dream. And the man is crying, but I did not see tears. It reminded mm -hmm. me of Robin in Sex. Solving Robin. I'm like, where's the tears? tears. And he goes all, eh, eh. Uh, I'm making his face all red. I did not. I really did. You don't see any tear from that man. I'm just like and Amanda. Listen, first of all, Amanda. Listen, I know you are a widow. However, yeah. even though you've had sex with Rasmin, you, I mean, you seem to enjoy this. You guys seem to enjoy each other. However, from the beginning, I felt as though he was too clingy. She, yeah, but I also felt as though she really didn't you know, like him like that. No, I, I wasn't even. I didn't feel at as all. though she was really attracted to him when she actually saw him. Not at all. That's how I feel. She probably saw his pictures and was like, well, he actually looks worse in person. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and it's too clingy. And he also seems a little short. Um, that but he's like her clingy. same height. Yeah. So maybe she was so, thinking he was taller. Yeah, maybe he lied I don't think about that it. She's feeling him like that from the very beginning. So he's not going to work, Amanda. Don't let this man come. He looks as though he wants to leech off of you, anywho. Yeah. And even though the friend is trying to say, don't hurt his heart, friend, go sit yourself somewhere over there. Why don't you give him a visa to go to the Americas since yeah. you care so much? Okay. I'll come take care of you for your dreams, bruh. Please. Yeah. Keep moving. But let's talk about Christian and Chloe. So apparently they finally did the do. Cleo. Yeah. Um, Cleo. Um, mm -hmm. And it seems like Christian just did not want to admit it. You yeah. know, from the beginning, we have said this seems like this is something that this man has been doing on the low. Mm -hmm. But he, I feel like one, he has been doing it on the low. Yeah. But two, he is probably tired of living the secret life. So he decided to come out and tell his people yes. via a TV show. Because yes. men don't like confrontation. It and don't matter, matter if you're their lover or family uh, member. Trend gender one yeah also that's so, how i feel and i just feel like he also just kind of used her that's how that's how i really he just feel. wanted to try something out but i feel like he kind of manipulated and pretended like he know, really because wanted now that the do is done he's trying to go talking about oh I, well, have to I, think. I can't be with somebody who thinks of me like this or yes, whatever and, 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 you know i have to really think about this relationship christian take your ass back to america and leave this woman alone just leave her alone Leave her alone and go about your business. Yeah. Because I thought it was wrong. I hate because you open yourself up to somebody physically, and then it's like they just use you just so they could try she out their little has kids her, or whatever. Exactly. She her own issues, issues going on, her own problems, her own anxiety, her autism, all of that stuff. And I just think it's so foul. And then he tries to gaslight her, and then tries to say how he feels as though he's ganged up on, like. Just go away. Like, he is the worst. He's a horrible person. <laughs> really. He's one of those people who are horrible people. Yeah. You know, just take your ass back to America and leave her alone. Hello. That's all I got to say. Yeah. So, but let's talk about David and Sheila. My God. To watch your mom fall down two oh flights God. of steps and then die. Oh, my God. I'll be effed up mentally. I, I, I don't even know how you go on with life after I that point. Know. I don't know. Because it's, like it's, it's like maybe you blame yourself because you watch the death. And you're like, well, why didn't I do something? Like, And then in a in a raggedy house, you mm. know, and then it's like poverty it's killed not, her. She died yes. poor. 
because it's just they didn't so have the sad. money to fix the place. And now this man looking her Some up and down. Some of these places in Asia, like we saw another one in Ayurveda Fiance. Yeah. It's just, oh man. It's, it's really like sad. Some of these places, like people are suffering, man. People are suffering. Yeah. It's like, you think about your own situation and then you go see a house like that, you're like, oh, okay, I'm actually good. I'm actually not living I, that bad. No, no, I yeah. must be grateful for what I have, you yeah. know? But it's so sad. It was so sad. And, um, and he seemed to be sympathetic. He doesn't have a thousand seven hundred twenty-five. That man makes a hundred dollars a month. But uh, you know uh, what? Uh, uh, what a hundred dollars a no eight hundred dollars a week. But you know what the thing is, which I mean, we've experienced it here in this country as well. Mm -hmm. He's a foreigner. He's an American man. He's also white. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they're also thinking he has money. Yeah. So that's why, if this was somebody from Asia, like one of their own, you know, oh, their uh, own their people, own Asian people, there's no way that yeah. would have been cut into one third of that price. Yeah. If that, I think. I think it really even doesn't matter even about the race either. I think it really as it doesn't. Soon <laughs> as you say America, yeah, I'm from America, a lot of times they think oh money. Their minds, they feel like it's money, right? Most of the time, um, people will the first thing they'll ask you is where you're from. You know, you just don't be like, oh, what's your name? The first mm -hmm. thing they ask you here is oh, where you're from. Where are you from? The language too. Yeah, so it's like where are you from and. You tell them it's like Ooh, oh, America. Oh, nice. Let me charge you the price of a thousand seven hundred and twenty-five dollars, which yes, I don't way think that little that house much. is going to cost that well, much. Well, first of all, they asked just to fix, I guess, the steps and the floor. And now he's talking about I the mean, wiring and this and that. That was the last that. thing he talked about. He's looking about. Oh, gotta fix that. Oh, I'm this sorry. She should have. He kept on looking up. I'm like, look down. That's where she <laughs> fell, Bruh, Take your eyeballs and look down. Like, oh, these all got to. I'm like, what the hell? The floor and the steps. Yeah. So my my thing is, what you have to do because I even do this with my dada sometimes. Like, if I want to go buy something, mm -hmm. I let her go herself. I yes. let her take her Tanzania herself. Let yeah, her go and see what yes. the price is, Hi, and then Hi, and yeah. then I that she lets me know the price yeah. or whatever, right? And then I give her the money, and then she go gets it because exactly. if they see me. Looking American, like there's no way it really to look Tanzanian. Yes. I mean, obviously I'm black, right? Exactly. But you, say, you hear my mambo <laughs> with your accent. Yeah. Oh, you're American. <laughs> it's like oh, welcome, mambo. <laughs> oh, ah. mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let us find. This is not your price. Move this way. Let's find the other right price. Ah, <laughs> the American price for you. <laughs> but that's just how it is, though. I mean, everybody's it. trying to make money and stuff exactly. like that, you know. Exactly. So it might not be some. I mean, that was ridiculously high. I, I yeah. doubt it cost that much. It, it uh, did it. The man was not focused. He wanted but, to fix the whole entire house, and what he'll come and do, he'll destroy the whole thing. And they say, "Eh, you know something about it other costs issues. more money." Yeah. Yeah. So I think. So I think he was what, but she now is looking at him <laughs> with his eight hundred. Like a week, so and she's like, I don't want to die in poverty. Like, my mom I died in poverty, and now I got to really look at David to see if this benefactor is the right person for me <laughs> because now I got to look a little higher than what it is. But she was understanding too, like, it, yeah, it she's understanding, look, she but she only talked like, to six different men tonight. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> she's saying, look like I this know man ain't got no money. She already see the broke, <laughs> broke nest in here. Okay, who's the next couple? Oh, wait, but but yeah. I'm so sorry. Um, That's so sad. I'm sorry. Horrible way for dad. somebody yeah. to die. Yeah. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about Dipsy and Statler. You are a bum. You are a leech. Okay, Statler. 32, 28. So I think the woman's 32 and the other girl's 23. How the hell are you going to pack and your stuff up and say, I'm going to come and move into your house in London, then gaslight her and be like, oh, well, I have if you really love me, we will want to, you, we should do this because we're in love. I don't know you from a bag of chips at Walmart. Why would I go and have you move into my place? I don't know if you crazy. I don't know you a serial killer. And the way you're trying to come in the fridge in my space, I'm in a studio apartment. Really worse than it's that. It's a camper. It's like a little camper. Oh, like yes. A she's in a trailer. Thing. It's a trailer. She's in a damn trailer. And not only that, though. And you have to go that. outside to pee. Yes. Let's no, no, poop. To poop. To poop. To do number two is outside. But you know something? <laughs> this one. <laughs> So was like, complaining kind of sort of when she first got in there so it's like that's she's she looking said. around to see where she gonna be moving so that's why she looked and she said look you can go right down the road probably get your own trailer and stay there for six months <laughs> okay she talk about and then she hollered at her ex, ex before she came and said before that oh she, she wanted to see her in a hotel and before all that she came and did the same valentine stuff that she did for the ex when the ex saw that broke up with her and said you going to pass <laughs> 
<laughs> with your roses that you've put all over the different places. Well, I just think that's so ridiculous. How do you expect for somebody to, like, she's just a selfish person. That's if I had somebody who I was talking to over, stuff. like, overseas, mm -hmm. and they come into me talking about how, oh, I want to move into your place, mm -hmm. you'll be blocked so quick. Like, you won't, it won't take one blink and you'll be blocked from my life. And if we're in a public space, I'm not even saying anything. I'm going to pack my stuff. I'm going to be out the door. <laughs> she gone. Like, I mean, like, what is that? What actually is that? Uh, and you're 33 wanting to lead your son by get a job and get a house. Get a home. You want to move out of um, America because it's not like it's she difficult. wants she needs a meal ticket for at least a That's month or two like. so she can get herself together, get some funds, and then move into her own no. place. Reach. And, and, and what, what, look, while she hollering at other English women. No. Who's the next couple? But let's talk about, I think was it was Misha Nicola. Yeah, Misha and Nicola. You know, Misha has taken the time to talk to Nicola. She has cried to Nicola. Yeah. Nicola don't seem to have much sense. But I think on the next one, he does take her to meet his mom. So Thank I'm God. really looking forward to that. Because that's really what all she has been talking about. And also about his rudeness. He's very rude to her. I don't know if it's an Israel thing. I, listen, I've never been to Israel, so I don't know. Yeah. Do I even know anyone who comes from Israel? No, I don't think I do. Do I? No, I actually knew someone who came from Palestine. Um, let me see. Yes, and yes, 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 yes. Actually, I had a roommate who was from Palestine. But, yes, yeah, so I don't know if it's the culture. Some of you who are from Israel, let us know. If it's because I, I try to wonder if the harshness that he's displaying is it is that how the men are in that culture? They're just like harsh and not understanding yeah. when women are crying. You know, because sometimes, you know, certain people are like that. It's like people also say sometimes Russians are like that. Yeah. You know, like they have a weird sense of humor. Like they may grab you or whatever you might think oh my god he's a grabber or you're kidding me or whatever but they're not they're just like you know that's yeah. just how they are but i don't know if that's how it, i'm thinking maybe it's a culture thing because it just can't be someone who can be just so rude and just dismissive yeah of someone's feelings so i'm feeling like it's a culture thing or and maybe I also he just think hates too, her it could be that too maybe he just he's not trying interested. to put her in a box Oh my and goodness, this Misha, man is, you guys are on two are... different levels. This man is a bum living with his mama, fishing every day. As much as you fishing, you should be out there trying to get a job. You, you really love to fish, go be a fisherman. Thank you. Like, so my thing is, this man is not, I don't want to, I don't even know if he's intellectually smart. I don't know. But he's 40 years old, a virgin. 46. 46, a virgin, living with his mama, and got no job. What you doing with him? I don't know. So my thing is, I just he's feel like, like not there's even, you know, two... in the world. Like he's not like even mingling, like socially, you know, adaptable. Like he's like socially inept in a way. So I don't know, Misha. I mean, I don't know. I hope you pack your stuff and keep it moving. I that mean, man is not you're much in your forties, Misha, and I don't know. I don't know, Misha. I know you've been with him for I don't know how many how many years, but uh, you feel as though you've invested. Don't keep on investing in into your 50. Ugh, yeah. It's so exhausting thinking about it. Yes, but let's talk next? about Jasmine and Gino and these oh golden God. showers, oh honey. Boy. <laughs> the oh, my. Like, I just, I thought the whole golden shower with, who was that? that whole Carisha Diddy. Oh and my Diddy. Goodness, I can't. I just was I like, so what is going on in the world? Out. It's not golden shower, it's a whole pee. Um, I mean, it's a whole golden. waste that's going on you. That's just like, a mess. But hey, you know something? You two are two consenting adults. You all do you. You all seem to be enjoying yourselves. It's just sick. Well, is but she anyway, really? Because she said that she had better sex with her ex. So Well, now that it seems as though she and Gino are on the same page. I was just happy that they have not argued. Ever since the therapy The fact that session, we are here giving a cookie to something as basic as not arguing is sad. That's really sad. Well, that's where it is with Gino and Jasmine. And I feel as though Gino can never have Jasmine just be happy for a day. He had to bring up his little, um, what, what that whole They're used to that drama. His cousin and try to have some kind of drama. Anywho, uh, good luck, you all. But yeah, they did not argue. Yeah. The last person who I have to talk about is Tyree. Oh, yes, Tyree. he met up with the escort. Yes. No, well, what's her name? She's Carmella. Escort. This girl has a. OnlyFans stuff. 
We even oh. talked about that this girl is some porn star. We don't talk about this person is an escort. Like, people just need to stop. She has an OnlyFans stuff that she did. Well, I didn't on know OnlyFans. that. No, no, no. I'm just saying yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. they had been promoting. Even yeah. the investigator was saying how she's a porn star. Like, you guys have just dragged this girl's name. I'm surprised she didn't get up and slap Tyree when she walked in for dragging her name all over. Her people gotta see this stuff, you know? Anywho. Yeah. And what uh, if her parents didn't know she had an old Right. Like, anyway, now she's sitting she down here on 90 only days. Fans. She's there, and, but she was so sweet. She's actually a sweetheart. Yeah. You know, she actually looked younger in yeah, person, right? She did. And anyhow, she looked she's, a little nervous about the whole thing. I will too. Like, you all don't drag my name that I'm doing all these things. Okay? I know. Um, but it seems a little Tyree was kind of trying to holler. But then she, he realized it was a no go. But it was, it was very sweet, him bringing the little um, candle. candle to her. I'm sure she'll use it in her little OnlyFans uh, background stuff. Uh, <laughs> I just imagine that way about the candle. But. Yeah, she was a she was a sweetheart. And what I liked was at the end, Tyree said, "Look, one thing I've learned about this is maybe the whole lesson that I was to learn from this that is that I need to go, I can go out there and just being able to talk to Carmela one on one. That nervousness and fear of me actually dating an actual woman face to face that went away. And now I feel as though I can go and meet someone not online to be catfish, but regularly." Right, right. So, good for you, Tyler. Good, good for y'all. Let me ask you guys. If you guys, um, but it's Mary. And I'm a... We invite you guys to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And do not forget to subscribe to our Patreon for more unfiltered topics and yes. more of us conversating. And you guys are not, will not be on YouTube. Well, yeah. We, what we do over there is not going to be on YouTube. Not so at all. You're going to get a nice treat. Yes. Juicy content. Yes, y'all. But it is Marion Alma signing off.